All right, so I hope this video turns out okay. I've got a little uh, webcam problem going on here. This is about how really fixing the Ryobi batteries that you have, the 40 volt. This is a four amp hour. Uh, there's the part number, zero papa 40401. Um, before we get too into it, I'm gonna go ahead and start taking this apart here. I disassembled it last night. Um, go ahead and smash the subscribe and like and you know why is because I'm not gonna pad this video out to 10 minutes or something crazy just so I can show you ads in it uh, so subscribe and like help me out and then if there's any tools that you need I'm gonna put a link to those and you pr probably don't have this stuff laying around maybe you do if you're a geek that tinkers with electronics uh, you're gonna need a uh, security Torx bit it's the kind that has the pin in the little head. I don't know if you can see that on the webcam. Yeah, it's not going to focus. But it's just a Torx, a little star shape, and it has a pin that pokes in, in there. So you can't use a regular Torx bit. Security Torx. And the one that you need for the screws on here, uh, this is a T10H, I believe. Yep, T10H. So there's four screws all around the corner, and don't worry, I'm going to show you on the video in a second. Uh, one of those screws is covered by a little plastic cap. You just have to gouge it out. I took a pocket knife and, and picked it out, and then there's a screw under it, so no big deal. Uh, so what happened on my battery is I'm weed eating with uh, kind of like a brush hog blade. It's like a, kind of like a edging blade sort of. Anyway, pretty hefty deal. Hot. It's working. Then all of a sudden uh, it goes uh, bad and wouldn't charge up. So before, after you get all the screws out, uh, if you look on the end here, this plastic thing, uh, you probably want to cut with a pocket knife and then maybe razor blade it through uh, right at the seam so that can come apart like so. Because under there is just your circuit board and stuff. So the part that we're concerned with, uh, basically what would happen beforehand is when you'd push that button, uh, all the lights would blink and your charger would show red and green and it's like, nope, not gonna charge. Uh, and I think that mine, in my case, was due to the heat. It just gave up and said, something wrong. So what happens, I learned this on another video, um, it goes into like a safety mode. And so what you have to do is you have to open it up and get it out of that safety mode. And the way that you do that, right here, let me point my finger, you see those two pads right there, those holes? What I did in my case, you just have to make an electrical connection uh, in those holes and hold it there for a few seconds. And then what happens, once you put something metal in those holes, be careful, like just put it in those holes you know, touch a computer case or ground yourself so you don't send any static into the circuit board. That's a fairly complicated circuit board for managing the battery on here. So, you know, you just wanna ground yourself. Like I'm touching my Mac Pro aluminum case, I'm grounding myself out in case I touch something, which I'm, I'm being careful not to. I said, jump those. Uh, your four lights on the end here will uh, flash. I think I have, oh, that end, anyway, doesn't matter. They'll all come on, maybe they all, all, all come on or flash after a few seconds. And then at that point, you can test it by pushing the button again. In this case, this one is charged now that I've taken it out of the uh, safety mode or whatever, you, rest, sleep mode, whatever you wanna call it. It's charged, so it's full. Um, once you do the reset function, you'll push the button and it'll probably come up like one light or something, so it'll it won't blink four lights anymore. It'll just show normal, like you discharged the battery and you had one bar left. Um, so really, that's about it. Put it back together, run it on the charger, and uh, hopefully should be good to go. Uh, and for the record, this is a Rev Q uh, circuit board. This is one of the, the later revisions. Um, so a little more of a backstory. What happens is when you call Ryobi, they want your life's history for getting a warranty. They want the serial number and model of the battery, the serial number and model of the charger, the serial number and model of the tool that you bought it with. 
So you got to collect all that stuff. Um, they didn't actually make me do too much troubleshooting because I was like, look, it's it's blinking red and green. It doesn't work. And so they sent, they're sending me a new one. Now, the nice thing about this, I didn't know this before I fixed it, honestly, or I probably would just would have fixed it. Um, but I didn't want to mess with this since I was pretty sure I was under warranty. So after they issued or after they decided, okay, we're gonna send you a brand new battery. And I was like, okay, what do I do with the old one? They're like, oh, just take it in and recycle it or recycle it somewhere. I'm like, huh, heck no. I'm gonna see if I can fix this thing. This is like $90 at Home Depot. So anyway, got to Googling, saw a comment on a video, and that's where I got the idea. And I figured, well, you know, let me make a video on the specifics of that. So thanks for watching. Use those links. That'll make me a few bucks. Um, you know, if you buy some tools or stuff. Oh, I forgot to mention. Uh, here's here's what I made the jumper with. You can just take off a little tiny piece of this solder. Uh, it is a point eight one millimeter. Those holes in there. Normally, you could put a you could solder a jumper in there, and those are a tenth of a millimeter. So it'll fit in there nicely, and it'll still make contact. Those holes are plated through. So if you just put a wire in there and it's touching the inside of that plate in in the hole then that'll complete the connection. So that's why that 0.81 millimeter solder works fine. You only need like a centimeter of it or whatever. Uh, final note, uh, use hand tools on this. I believe these screw holes are plastic. And especially if you ever have to take this thing apart, like if you're gonna rebuild the battery pack or like if it's really dead and you just wanna harvest the cells out of it, I think they're 18650 shell cells, which are useful for a lot of projects. Um, there's a good chunk of money here just in the cells. You know, depending on how deep you want it to go, you could just say, all right, I'm gonna get some new cells off eBay. I'm gonna find out which ones are bad. And if your circuit board is good, you just rebuild the whole battery pack. And this screwdriver sucks. That's why it's taking me so long. It's just a little tiny one. Um, these, these things are pretty tight. I'll get a bigger screwdriver after the video is done. And I have tested this, went out, revved it up on my weed eater. It charged overnight, so should be good to go. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Use my links. Really appreciate it.